Yeah, it feels like something's on this bad boy, Dad. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Oh, you guys have been asking for the magnet fishing videos, and we're out here, Dad and I. Check it out. He's always the first one to the dock. Checking it out. Trying to get a one up on a guy. Me and Dad, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to our magnet fishing videos, the season is finally here. Dad and I are gonna get after it. Uh, we're always in a little competition to see who can find the most stuff every time. And boy, let me tell you, he likes getting out there early. Look who we got today with us. Hi, Fred. What are you doing? Ready? Come on. We're here at a little city park, and um, a lot of these docks, they got about four or five of them, and uh, a lot of traffic here. A lot of people like to fish. A lot of people like to lose stuff off of these docks. But I figured we'd bring old Fred today. Hi, buddy. Huh? Smell them things. They smell weird, huh? Yeah, they're brand new. Ugh, they smell weird, man. But anyways, we're going to get into it today. Uh, we're not going to waste any time. I've been waiting to do these magnet fishing videos. Finally, the warm season is upon us. Uh, first off, if you guys are glad the magnet fishing videos are back, smash the thumbs up button down below and let a brother know. Come on, Freddy. You got to hang out on the dock with us today. Come on, buddy. Well, here we are. First dock at hand. Uh, this is my first time filming with the GoPro 7 Black. If you guys like it, let me know. It should not, it should be a lot more stable. How are you doing? Everybody hasn't seen a magnet in your hands for quite some time. The new season, new rope, old magnet. That is an old Ready magnet. Ready to go. Ready to Ready. go. That's your 800-pounder, isn't it? Yep. It's an 800-pound. Oh, Fred's getting a drink already. We got some ducks checking us out. But here's my beauty right here. This is my beauty. I'm rocking my old 1,200 pound beast. But we're going to waste no time. Like I said, I'm going to start up here and work my way back. Fred, this is your first magnet fishing adventure. You're just going to have to chill out, hang out. Ooh, it's deep. Yeah. Look, he just wants to get drinks. He's going to want to go swimming here in a little bit. Here we go. We're at it back at it beautiful weather just got done raining it's uh sitting right at about 65 degrees beautiful weather that felt like something there was it but was it let's check her nothing and i need to clean this bad boy off one thing about this magnet fishing y'all if you if you guys get into it it's a really really nice cheap hobby that you can go out about anywhere city parks uh lakes boat docks oh, what do you got there piece of metal of some sort huh round oh it's like awg wiring huh some wire nothing too exciting yet feels like I got something there possible possible oh what do I got look at that uh, fishing pole holder <laughs> is that one that goes on a boat yeah looks like it goes on the side and bolts down look at that first decent find of the day <laughs> okay. yeah buddy you know the game put it in the bucket Fred Fred here where'd Fred go where'd Fred go Fred here Fred there he is. Come on, dude. You got to stay over here with us. You got to go back in the truck. You take your choice. Come on. Let's go, buddy. Set, set, set. You need to stay here, buddy. Stay here. Well, there we go. We're on the board, Fred, and you missed it. Where you been, man? You just sit there. Sit. Good. You stay right there, Freddy Rico. Well, that's some good news right there. Good old news. What'd you get? Some more of that wire and some... And then a natural light bottle cap. That's one thing we find abundance of is uh, bottle caps. Oh, yeah. A ton. Yeah. An absolute ton. I wonder what this wire is, though. That's the third piece you found. It's got to be... It... Steel. Well, let's check her out here. Oh, there's our first hook of the day. We should be finding plenty of these bad boys. Little hooks like that right there. First hook of the day. Put her in the bucket. That's a good job sitting, Fred. That's a good dog. That feels like something. Ooh, I got something. Ooh, a knife. 
Look at that! <laughs> Dad's like, no! I was just there. <laughs> Look at that little guy. All be darn. That's neat. Somebody use a mama's steak knives. That's a little bitty knife. What's that say? What's the brand that says Chicago Cutlery? Somebody use a mama's cupboard knife. You think so? Yep. Think that's a kitchen knife, huh? Yep. I'll be darn. That's cool. Good boy. He's still what else sitting. You got on there? Uh, well, we do have, yeah, what else is on there? We got another, we got a swivel with a hook on it. Check it out. We're in the, we're in the money today, boys. Fred, we might have something else on here. I just found the knife right there. There's something that feels like it's stuck on. Feels like it's hitting the ground every time. Moving around. Maybe not. I'm psyching myself out, Fred. Oh, there we go. Piece of metal. Yeah, it feels like something's on this bad boy, Dad. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look. Some pliers. Them are some grody old guys. Those have been in there for, they still work. They'll clean up. Yeah, they'll clean up. Oh, I'll be darned. Yeah, and another piece like. of that metal. Oh, I'll be darned. Somebody's throwing some wiring in here. Something. <laughs> Those are nice. A knife, a pair of pliers, fishing rod holder. Where you at, Dad? Come on. Well, you're going over everything I already went over, and you're getting it. <laughs> so, uh, I think the reason why I'm getting it, I'm going out a little farther. Dad Dad already went across the dock right up against it right here. I'm, like, out here going around the dock. You know what I mean? And, look, we got a, we got a sinker, another piece of the metal. What else is on here? Just a bunch of trash. But them bad boys right there, that's a good find. Those are clean What'd you get? Hook you there. That's going in the tackle box. Oh, that's a good little spinner there. Ah, oh, a yeah. good little bait. Oh, yeah. Even got a good looking hook on there, too. This is going in the tackle that's box. That's a nice little, what do they call that? A little little blade bait. Uh, that, yeah. It's... Little blade bait. We're not we're not professional bass fishermen out here, that's for sure. But that's a little it's bladed. Got spinner on it. Little bladed rooster tail type deal. Y'all know the names of these baits way better than Dad and I. Drop yeah. a comment down below and let us know. Well, there is another sinker. Check that out. Another sinker for the bucket. What'd you get? Oh, little jig head. Jig head, treble hook. Nice. That treble hook's seen better days. Yeah. It'll go in the trash. Get it out of the water. Yep. So one thing about this, guys, we are cleaning up the water. Anything we pull out goes in the bucket, whether it's trash or not. So we're helping out the environment. I got big thing over here. You got something? I look, just can't bring it up. Look at old Fred. He is locked on this duck coming right here. Dude, you can't be harassing the foul game around here. Just set it down. Take a chill pill. Anything? Yeah, it's old. Has been in there a long time. Oh, yeah, sinker and a little treble hook deal. Yeah. You can still see the eyes on it. I'll be darned. That feels like something there, too. Did I stumble across something yet again? Let's see. Doesn't look like it. Nada. There's something on that. Oh, my. Oh, yeah, it's fishing line. It just broke. Did you hear that? Broke a bunch of fishing line right there. Nothing. Don't think about it, dude. Don't even think about it. He'd been watching these ducks. Are they sitting here just ridiculing you, man? Are they teasing you? Yeah. My goodness, I'm caught on something yet again. Ugh, more fishing line. You can tell every time. You can tell. Yeah, there's a hook. Well, Dad and I have been around this whole dock, I don't know, a couple times now. When uh, that happens, this is what I usually do. Start chucking her out there and reeling her back in. Last ditch effort. Come on now, give us something decent. Come on. When you find someone, when you find something decent, just chucking this out there like that. Man, it's rewarding. This is a, uh, oh yeah, there's something. Come on. Give me something good. Come on. Never know what you're going to bring up, that's for sure. 
Lots of rocks down there. Let's see if we got anything on our first lunch. Uh, oh, <laughs> look at that. Recording it all. Look at that bait. Oh, I like that spinner. Yeah, that's a spinner. That's an old one, too. It's been in there for quite some time. There she is. That's tackle box material. Yeah, maybe for an antique tackle box. Mm. There we go. We're still in the in the game here, y'all. We're still doing it, Fred. You can sit. Good, Freddy. Well, here we are. This is our next dock. Um, it's a big one. This is a really, really big dock. Been a while since I've been here. On this one, you almost have to do this little deal. You almost have to stand on here. And go along that's what we're gonna do just a cinder boys just send it see how deep it is oh it's deep my goodness holy smokes that's like 15 12 15 foot deep easy it's deep yeah i think this dock is a lot bigger and a lot nicer a lot of people use it. What do you got there? Best of use by July 2 2018. <laughs> to, to, best used by July 2018. What lid is that to? Can you guess how they open that? Who knows? <laughs> yeah, with a knife. Well, I just went around this entire thing. Time to pull her up. I haven't pulled her up once. Come on now. Give us the lucky old find. Oh, something on there something on there what do we got another lid. another lid another lid best used by august 2022 that's a new one whoever's doing this man throw it in there don't throw it in the water bring yourself a little bucket you know what i mean throw all your trash away think you got something I think so. something coming up huh so he said i got something heavy and i think it's coming up bob yeah you got something I don't know what that. Is. What do you got there? What is that? An old sign? <laughs> That's what it looks like, huh? It's got this. Yeah, it's been in there a while. Hmm. Flat metal panel, some type of bracket here. Huh. Was it a lid to a barbecue grill? Yeah, you might be on something. There might be a part to a bar barbecue grill. Like a park style barbecue grill? I don't know. It's so, sorry, I just got nasty stuff all over you. <laughs> it has got a lot of, it is corroded real bad. I don't know, it's metal and it's a flat piece. Of, it's thick too. Might be a street sign, might be, I don't know. I don't know either. Huh, if you guys have any ideas of what that might be, real thick, some type of bracketry. It looks like that's a hanger or like a door, some type of door like you're even saying. So I've gotten creative and I stood over there, threw it out. Walked it back over here. I got my line and I'm pulling it underneath that. Man, there's something there. Holy cow. Oh, it just broke loose. Just broke loose. Darn it. But I'm dragging it underneath that dock. Trying to uh, get something that somebody might have dropped and fell through the cracks. You never know. Let's check her out. That was a good move. I'll probably try that again. Got some fishing line on there. There you go. We got an old rusted out little jig head right there. And then we got a swiveling hook. What'd you get? Got a bait? A rubber bait? Yeah, but the hook must be still in there somewhere. Let me see it. Probably got a sinker in there or something. Oh, that's an old it's stick bait. Oh my goodness. It's like an ancient, ancient worm or something. Been in there for a long time. Yeah. In the bucket. Oh, Dad just pulled up something odd. Man, that little... At first I was like, looked like a receiver hitch, you know, yeah. deal. But man, that thing is rusted. <laughs> yeah, it's part of the docks. They probably replaced. These are probably new rails. And those are probably part of the old dock that they repaired at one time. That stuff that we're thinking is fishing, I think there's fishing thing down there, but this came from over there and I drug it around. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, we both got caught up on whatever that is. 
probably a big old piece of it down there, a big old rod, big old bar like this. Oh, did it just break loose? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Something red. Oh, <laughs> it's a lighter. I can tell right when it came out of the water. I'll be done. Look at the top of that bad boy. She's a little, she's been in there a little while. Huh. There's Crazy. something right there, though. There is. There's something heavy right That's there. That's where this came out of. It might be a tackle box or something, you think? Oh, very well could be. Yeah. Well, it's starting to rain on us. I'm getting wet. We're done for the day. This is uh, this is our best finds of the day. Didn't hit the jackpot by any means, but I'd say the knife and the pliers, two best finds, and then the uh, and then the fishing pole holder. Dad came through with a lighter at the end. We both found a few uh, fishing lures, and then Dad brought up this chunk of metal. Well, we're back here at home, old Freddie and I. We're here. Uh, but I hope you guys really did enjoy today's magnification video. Come on, buddy. Come on. You guys have been requesting it a lot. So we got out there and we did it. Now, a couple things. Magnet fishing isn't called magnet catching. Magnet fishing, you're out there fishing for treasure. You're out there fishing for ferrous material down there that will stick to your magnet. That's the thing that I always get asked. Bob, what about all the stuff that doesn't stick to your magnet? Well, I don't have scuba gear. I don't like being underwater that much. So a magnet, I might get a grappling hook. Uh, a grappling hook would actually come in handy every now and then. If you all think I should get a grappling hook, drop a comment down below. If there's enough comments, I will buy one directly and we'll make it happen. I think it could work out. I think it could be pretty darn helpful. But again, if you guys like today's video, smash that thumbs up button for me. And hit that little notification bell down there. Big shout out to my notification gang. Y'all are amazing. I love it when you guys are there. You always comment and first off, popping off. Thank you guys, I appreciate you. But be sure to subscribe. We're coming at y'all with three to four to sometimes five videos a week. Be safe out there guys. Get out and do something. If you're off work, you don't have anything better to do. Buy a cheap magnet off of Amazon. There's a lot of different options out there on Amazon for really cheap. Buy one, get out there and try it. But until next time, peace. I've been getting laid back, baby. You should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that.